There are a number of different ways in which you can customize your reports and we're going to take a look at three of them, starting with grouping. Grouping is best illustrated using the fixture locations report, which has a number of tables listing equipment broken down by location. So in this case, we have one table for LX1, 2, 3, and so on. The way to create this is by adding a grouping to the table. In this case, the grouping is by location. I'm going to remove it to show you the original data, which was simply one long table with all the equipment in all the locations. And you can see location here is the first column. If we want to add a grouping, we select the column to group by, which is location in this case. We right click and select add to grouping. And the single table now transforms to one table per location. The location information itself comes from the location property of the equipment in the design. So these park hands here, which are hung on LX12, they have got their location automatically from the pipe having had LX12 entered as its unit. You can also manually enter location information for any fixture. If for instance, we would have wanted this to be on our test location. So if I go back to the report now, we have a new location at the end called test with the one park and where I overridden the location property. The second kind of customization I want to show you is the report item. This is available in the library and is useful for when you want things listed in the report that are not otherwise available in the library. So let's imagine that we need some extension cords on this pipe. I can then drag and drop the report item to the pipe. I'll also make sure that it's not actually on the floor, but near the pipe vertically. Then I can go to the properties of the report item and specify what kind of equipment this is. So let's imagine it's an extension cord. If I need multiple extension cords, I can now duplicate this report item or make use of the multiplier where I could say, well, we need four of them. So let's use one report item saying four times extension cord. Now, if I go back to our equipment, sorry, our fixture location report, and go to LX12, you can see that it now says four extension cords. Finally, the third way of customizing your report that I want to show you is using a layer property. All the park ants in this design are on a layer called temporary fixtures. It's the green layer. And the property I want to show you is the include in reports property. If I clear this check mark, it means that any fixtures on this layer will not be in the reports anymore. So if I go back to the fixture locations report again, there simply are no par counts anymore on the LX12 location or any other location for that matter, because I've excluded that layer from reports. Thank you so much for watching.